Are you tired of fossil fuels and the never-ending fight for clean energy? Well, scientists may have just cracked the code. Forget everything you thought you knew about nuclear power, because there's a new player in town, and it's got the potential to change the game for over a thousand years. Want to know more about it? Well, stay tuned till the end. Harnessing energy from small balls of material such as thorium holds incredible potential. Imagine this, the cost of obtaining enough raw material to produce all the clean energy you'd need for a century could be as little as $1 per year. That's the kind of opportunity Copenhagen Atomics is exploring. They're developing technology that could offer electricity for up to 500 years using a metal more plentiful than uranium and less harmful than coal. This metal is thorium, and it's at the heart of a revolutionary approach to clean and affordable energy. Let's break it down. Our world faces a pressing challenge with energy. We require increasing amounts of electricity for our homes, industries, and transportation. However, we also need to reduce carbon emissions and environmental harm. Fossil fuels like coal, oil, and gas remain the main energy sources, but they pollute and contribute to global warming. Renewable energies like solar, wind, and hydro are cleaner, yet they're intermittent and rely on weather conditions. Nuclear energy, while constant and carbon-free, has its own set of challenges, including safety, security, and waste management. Traditional nuclear energy relies on uranium-235, a rare and expensive isotope that constitutes only about 0.7% of natural uranium. Enrichment processes are necessary to make it usable. After undergoing fission in reactors, uranium produces not only energy, but also radioactive byproducts that pose disposal challenges. Nuclear waste, comprised mainly of unused uranium and radioactive fission products, presents a significant problem for long-term storage and management. Here's where thorium enters the picture. Thorium is another element capable of sustaining a nuclear reaction, but it offers distinct advantages over uranium. Thorium is more abundant, more efficient, and less radioactive. Additionally, Thorium reactors can burn up dangerous actinides from spent nuclear fuel, hereby reducing both the volume and toxicity of nuclear waste. So, how does this work? Let's compare the thorium fuel cycle to the uranium fuel cycle. Thorium, a slightly radioactive metal, is more abundant than uranium in the Earth's crust. It offers a potential energy supply that could last for centuries even with current consumption rates. Unlike uranium, thorium does not require enrichment processes, making it more accessible and cost-effective. When used in reactors, thorium undergoes a series of reactions that release energy without producing as many long-lived radioactive byproducts. In essence, thorium-based nuclear energy presents a promising solution to the challenges posed by traditional uranium-based reactors. By utilizing thorium, we can generate clean, reliable electricity while mitigating concerns about nuclear waste and proliferation risks. This technology could revolutionize our energy landscape, offering a sustainable and secure source of power for generations to come. Thorium is mostly found in a mineral called monazite, which also contains valuable rare earth elements like lanthanum, cerium, and neodymium, crucial for making magnets, batteries, and electronics needed for green energy technologies. Extracting thorium from monazite not only provides thorium for energy, but also valuable rare earth elements currently in high demand. Unlike uranium-235, thorium-232 can't sustain a chain reaction on its own. It's fertile, meaning it can turn into fissile material after absorbing a neutron. This starts the thorium fuel cycle. 
Thorium-232 absorbs a neutron, becoming Thorium-233, which decays into Uranium-233, a fissile material. Mixed with more Thorium-232 in a reactor, Uranium-233 undergoes controlled fission to produce heat and electricity. The cycle keeps going, producing more fuel and lasting for decades without refueling. The thorium fuel cycle is better than the uranium cycle in many ways. It's more efficient, using almost all of the thorium compared to only a tiny bit of uranium. It's safer because it doesn't need enrichment, reducing the risk of misuse. It's cleaner, producing less waste that's easier to handle. And it's cheaper, using cheaper and more abundant fuel with less infrastructure needed. Copenhagen Atomics, a Danish company founded in 2014, aims to develop and commercialize reactors using thorium to burn nuclear waste. They want their reactors to be safe, modular, and scalable, providing clean and affordable energy for anyone while addressing climate change and nuclear waste issues. In Copenhagen, Copenhagen Atomics has a team of around 30 people with expertise in various fields like nuclear physics, mechanical engineering, electrical engineering, software development, and business development. They collaborate with partners and advisors from institutions like the Technical University of Denmark, the European Commission, and the International Atomic Energy Agency. Together, they're working on a groundbreaking technology called the Waste Burner, which could transform the nuclear industry and the energy sector. The waste burner is a new type of reactor based on the concept of a molten salt reactor. Unlike traditional reactors that use solid fuel, a molten salt reactor uses liquid fuel. In this reactor, a mixture of salts like lithium fluoride and beryllium fluoride acts as both the fuel and the coolant. This salt mixture is heated to a high temperature around 600 degrees Celsius, or 1,112 degrees Fahrenheit, turning into a liquid. Neutrons bombard the liquid salt in the core, causing fission reactions. This produces heat, which is transferred to a secondary salt loop to generate electricity. The fission reactions also create more neutrons, which can convert thorium-232 into uranium-233, or burn up actinides from spent nuclear fuel. The liquid salt then returns to the core, continuing the cycle. Molten salt reactors offer several advantages over traditional reactors. They operate at low pressure, making them safer. If the temperature rises too high, the reaction slows down automatically. They're designed with a freeze plug, a valve that melts during power failures, allowing the liquid salt to drain into a cooling tank where it solidifies, stopping the reaction. Molten salt reactors produce less radioactive waste, which is easier to manage. They're capable of burning up actinides from spent nuclear fuel, reducing the amount and toxicity of nuclear waste. They're also cheaper, using more abundant and cheaper fuel, requiring less infrastructure and maintenance. Additionally, they're modular and scalable, meaning they can be built in smaller units and adjusted to different power demands. The waste burner is a specific type of molten salt reactor optimized for using thorium and burning nuclear waste. It's designed to generate 100 megawatts of power, enough to supply 100,000 homes. It's meant to operate for 60 years without refueling, with a high burn-up rate, consuming about 99% of the thorium and 95% of the actinides, leaving behind only 1% of waste, mostly fission products. It's built with a high safety margin, able to withstand extreme events like earthquakes, floods, and terrorist attacks. Copenhagen Atomics is developing the waste burner as an open source project, sharing their design, data, and code with the public for feedback and contributions. They're building a community of supporters, investors, and customers to participate in the project's development and deployment. 
They're also engaging with regulators, policymakers, and the media to educate them about the benefits and challenges of thorium and molten salt reactors, advocating for a support and fair environment for nuclear innovation. Copenhagen Atomics is more than just a company. It's a movement with a vision for a future where everyone has access to clean and affordable energy. Their waste burner project aims to make this vision a reality. However, the team is confident they can overcome these obstacles and make the waste burner reactor a success. The waste burner isn't just a technology, it's a solution. It offers a way to tackle the climate crisis, reduce nuclear waste, and meet energy needs sustainably. Copenhagen Atomics envisions a future where thorium plays a key role in providing clean and affordable energy for everyone. They hope their efforts will contribute to a brighter future for humanity and the planet. All right, everyone, that's all the time we have for today. Thorium reactors are a glimpse into the future powered by clean, sustainable energy. There's still a lot of research to be done, but the potential is undeniable. If you've enjoyed this video, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe for more explorations into the future of science and technology.